Hello, welcome back to Bald and Board Games. I'm Bald. I'm Bored. And today we have a treat for you. We are diving into the newly received RuneScape Kingdoms. All right, and we are back here, getting ready to jump into the tutorial, doing the initial part of the setup, which tells us to set up the main board and the tutorial island portion that came here. We have the cards out to the side, which we will end up organizing uh, when it tells us to. So yes. it says place a R, place token RS in the lowest slot of the excavation track. So looks like we'll need to get into here. Actually, yeah, we're going to need those characters and everything. Yeah, we will. Exactly. We'll take them out as needed. So an RS. Oh, so this is the escalation track. It says so. It goes in the bottom part. Okay. So nice little RS there. And it says take two character sheets. We have our character sheets. I have mine over here, which I'll bring down. Boop boop. Right there. Take all the cards from the box, separate and open the packs, the bronze sword, and da 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 da. Uh, return the rest to the box. So there was someone that had a bronze long sword and one that had a bird in the hand in the front. So in here, do you want to separate each of the types? Yep, they're already set it, ready to go. It says, do not shuffle any of these decks unless specifically instructed. So it says, in the pack with the bronze long sword, there are five card backs that match the five capital region banners. Yep. And so those, it says to put up top here. All right, so we're going to go red. We're then going to go green. And these are the exploration Blue. decks. That's fun. Pepe and yellow. Old yellow. The remaining cards in the pack make up the equipment deck. It says yep. place it face down. So then face down off to the side of the board. Yep, so we're going to have the tutorial vaults. Yep. Tutorial escalation. I'm and then the two side quests will get flipped face up. Yep. And it says uh, from the other pack, a bird in the hand. So in these packs, they had a one of the cards specifically. You can see the bottom. That's what they're referring to. And they say the bronze long sword or a bird in the hand. So one of those events, I think, is a bird in the hand. Uh, it says a bird in the hand. Separate the cards with the event card backs and place them face down. This is the event deck. So that's the orange pack that's off to the side there. Yep. Take the six tutorial cards, separate each, uh, separate out the three with T1, T2, and T3. Those are those, okay, cool. Uh, in the top right corner, place them face down near the map board. These cards make up the vault deck for the tutorial. Yep. So that's what those are. <laughs> nice. Sorry about that. And uh, place the feast approaches card face down beside the escalation track. Oh, that must be this. This must be Feast yeah, Approaches. Yeah, that's okay, the two cards associated. Place the two uh, side quest cards, yep. making the rounds and special delivery beside the map board as shown face up over there. Like we have them. Perfect. Nice. Uh, do you actually want to move the box? It's blocking some of the... Oh, the light. Oh, there we go. Now I can actually see the cards down there. <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. Return the remaining cards from this pack to the box. They will not be needed for the tutorials, that must be the Yeah, the cape and the initiatives, which makes sense that we're not going to dig into that yet. Those there. Boom. Da, 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 da. Take the clan bank token and place it somewhere where everyone can reach. That's fine. Right, yep. We'll just put it right here in between the two of us. Okay, yeah, that works. Boom. The various other tokens should be placed around the side where they can be easily reached. This makes up the token supply. I have that off to the side here. That's all of these tokens from the expansion stuff that we just went through. And I'll give you... Oh, sweet chef. We'll use... We'll, dice. Eh, well, I mean, we'll just use these. I mean, I don't think we ever roll at the same time. If we do, we can take the other ones out. Switch this with the orange. Or with, what's the single color over there? You don't like this one? No. What's the Why? Color? Yeah. You want that or do you want a purple? We can do a purple. We can no, do... orange. Why don't you like that one? Because orange goes with the color of the board. Or okay. the, the whole theme. All right, that's fine. Because <laughs> these are like bedazzle. They're all spark. They're, they're glittery. And glittery. They're glittery. Not they're magic dice. <laughs> they're glittery. They're bedazzled. Uh, so then it goes yeah, over. D10s. So then it goes over the certain areas that are on the map. So uh, a group of four regions, one capital, and three provinces. That's the each colored area. The capital region is the larger area, often representing the center of a population. Uh, province regions. That's the smaller ones. Uh, each centered around a uh, standout feature. 
the icons that are on there affect the gameplay in the region they're in. There's the travel paths, which are the dotted lines between them. Uh, it says regions that are adjacent to one another, if they share a travel path. So these count as adjacent, this one and this one obviously aren't. And then the escalation track over on the right hand. Yep, and the escalation track down that side. Cool. All right, getting started. It says for the first experience of RuneScape Kingdoms, we recommend playing the tutorial island to get the grips of the gameplay basis. This takes you through a few guided turns and gives you a short quest to complete. Alternatively, you can jump right into the first campaign. Tutorial Island is an interactive example designed to walk you through the basics of RuneScape Kingdoms and not intended to be a section of the rules. If you need to check how a rule works, a full so turn to page 16 for the full rules. If you prefer to skip and go straight to the campaign, it says you can jump right to campaign one, which is Vampire Slayer. Ooh, nice. And cool. All right, Tutorial Island. Well, before we actually get to Tutorial Island, let's say, yeah. let me write my name on this. Oh, when you create our names, you know. So name be... I'm going to continue reading here. So it says, the, the Galenor Guide has expanded this operation to, main, to the mainland. Educating novice adventurers is a thrilling business after all. So the Galenor Guide. Welcome to the tutorial, adventurers. This section will teach you the basics of RuneScape Kingdoms as you walk through a few turns, preparing you to play a short campaign without the high stakes of slaying a vampire. Once players have got their player area set up, they put one tally mark next to each skill on the two character sheets, making each skill level one. So in the, that section, you'll mark it as one. Place a skiller miniature in Varrock and the knight miniature in Falador. So we probably have pictures somewhere of which one's which. Yes, it looks like the skiller is the chef looking dude. And the other guy is the knight. Which one goes where? This is this guy. Uh, it says to place the skiller miniature in Varrock and the knight in Falador. So it's, it's literally going to walk us through like, hey, you're going to move here and do this and do this as we learn. Yeah, and it's like here we have what two quests? We have two, what are these called? <clears throat> side quests over here. Yeah. Do you want to read those out loud for everyone before and we actually get in a, going? In a second. Let me go through the finish like the players oh, before sure. we jump onto the turn. Yeah. All right. So then another section of the guide, it says, Greetings! I see we have a new arrival in the world of Galenor. My job is to welcome all visitors. So, consider this a very warm welcome. Now, a bit of advice. If you're going to succeed here, you'll need to get into the habit of talking to people as much as you can. I hear Duke Horatio's cook is in the farmlands for some reason. And it sounds like he needs an assistant of his very own right now. You should talk to him and see if you can help. And then it goes over here in a uh, room before it goes in the first turn. It says, uh, wounds and death. Outside the tutorial, adventurers can suffer wounds and die. Fortunately, thanks to the mysterious protection provided by Galen or Guide, adventurers are immune from harm during the tutorial. Anytime an adventurer would suffer a wound, ignore it. And there's more information on that, of course, further into the thing. So... You want to read that, and I will sure. name my person. <coughs> so it looks Wait, like what's, what's your name? Board. Oh, you put it. You actually just put board in there. Got it. Yeah, ball the board. Uh, Sounds good to me. So it looks like we have two main quests as part of Tutorial Island right here, and then it looks like we potentially will have uh, two side quests as well that we will work on. So Tutorial Island, uh, speak to the cook is quest number one. Duke Horatio's personal cook frantically searches for ingredients. Uh, so an adventure in the farmland, which is probably going to be the one here in Varrock, uh, can perform the following action. Speak to the cook by collecting vault card T1. So let's just make sure these are in order. T1, 2, 3, top to bottom. Good. Uh, so that'll happen if we look at the game board over here. This will happen in this section. Uh, as we, uh, there we go. As we go through. What did I do? There we go. Uh, so as we go through, it looks like we have the farmland right here. So eventually this guy will have to get here and be able to speak to the cook. The next quest line here is cook's assistant. The cook needs some ingredients to cook a birthday feast for Duke Horatio. An adventure in Lumbridge, which right now there's no one. That's at the bottom of the map. With cooking, which is the pot skill, two or more can perform the following action. So if you discard an egg, 
a meat, so the steak, a cherry, and a bag of flour. You may assist the cook. So it looks like those are the two main quests. So again, on the island here, so one of them has to go to Lumbridge to be able to do that. But on your little skill sheet here, we only have cooking and everything of one. Mm -hmm. So once we move up to two, we will be able to do that. Cool. Uh, the other two things over here, there's two little side quests. Uh, first one is called Making the Rounds. And again, we don't know how these side quests work yet. We'll see that as we walk through. Uh, but a lady carrying a tray of sandwiches asks to be escorted along the coastline as she makes her rounds. An adventurer can only accept this quest if they're in Port Serum. So that is right here down in the dark blue color. And once that happens, uh, to complete the quest, the adventurer must visit each region below. So you have to go to Port Serum to accept the quest, but then you have to travel to Melnor's Maze, you have to travel to Remington. You have to travel to Taverly, hmm. which is up here. And then you have to travel to Birthorpe, which is here. So it looks like these four. So you go here, and then you have to work your way up to Birthorpe. Uh, once you've done that, you collect vault card number two. And then the final one is called Special Delivery. Farmer, Farmer Groats as a food delivery... Uh, wait... Oh, that's his name. Farmer Groats is the guy's name. Uh, so Farmer Groats has a food delivery to make uh, to the dwarves under the Ice Mountain. And the Ice Mountain is right up here in the green section. Uh, can you help him out? To advance, you must perform the following action in Ice Mountain. So you have to go to Ice Mountain right here. And then you have to make the delivery by advancing the escalation track by one. And then you get vault card number three. So it looks like these will probably, it'll tell us how to do it as we work our way through. Yeah, it looks like the tutorial looks like it's telling you specifically on your turn, go here and do this. And that's what it's doing to teach you how to play. So uh, do you want to be the the skiller or the sure, knight? Perfect. Make it easy. So the skiller's first turn. The tutorial island campaign board features the speak to the cook quest action. Adventurers often have to talk with other characters to make progress. This is a job for the skiller. Take the skiller miniature awesome. and move it along the dotted line that connects Varok to farmland. This is a move, the main way adventurers will navigate the map. Adventurers may move one, sorry, adventurers may move once at the beginning of their turn by placing their miniature in an adjacent region. Adjacent Ooh. regions are connected by those dotted lines. Now that the skiller is in the farmland, they can either explore it or perform the quest action detailed on Speak to the Cook section of the tutorial campaign board, which okay. you already went over. So um, all we have to do is really speak to the cook. Do Christian's personal cook, search for ingredients, and adventure in farmland can perform the following actions. Speak to the cook by collecting Valkar T1. Which is right here. Uh, so it says here, but for the purposes of the tutorial, the skiller chooses... So quest actions are normally optional. But for the purposes, you choose to do this. So you choose to speak to the cook. Okay. So perform the quest action by collecting the T1 card from the tutorial vault. Take the tutorial vault and search through it until you get the... Yep, got it. T1's already found. Remove the card. Place the rest back in the same order. And that is be what this is. So let's read this cook's assistant card. So T1, on in the upper right-hand corner, it tells us T1. All right there. Uh, so this says, Lumbridge Castle Cook. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm in a terrible, terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday today, and I should be cooking him a grand feast, but I've forgotten to buy the ingredients. I'll never get them in time now. He'll sack me. What will I do? You'll help me. Oh, thank you, thank you. I need an egg, flour, meat, and fruit. Mm. I'd be grateful if you can get them for me. So that obviously associates to the second one, which is says Cook's Assistant on there. Uh, we need to get one of each of those four resources. Uh, you gain one backpack XP and a GP. Yep. So it says so, here, after you read a lot of the text, collect the GP and the XP token as a reward. So there is your gold. Nope. There you go. Take one gold. And XP. And so you're going to place that on your gathering skill, which is the backpack. Yep. So now on the game board here, we put the XP right there. We have one gold here. Uh, this cook's assistant will keep face up off to the side. Actually, we'll put it right here in between the two of those. 
It says character cards are no longer needed after their effects have been resolved. Remove this card from the game by turning it, returning it to the box. So that's like the, the, the... Oh, this one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, speaking with the cook completes the quest objective, so place an RS token on the corresponding spot. Right there. Yeah, the RS one's over there. Oh, look at that. So we have so it looks like one when it... done. One main quest of the tutorial. So, so far, so we'll, we'll do this a little like extended yeah. version. So, so far we know we can travel yep. once and it moves down the dotted line. So and you have to do that at the beginning of your turn, it says. Yes. So anything connected by a dotted line, so like Varrock connects to four locations. Uh, it looks like Lumbridge only connects to three and so on. Yep. Uh, so we did that and then we can perform an action there. One of the actions, which is so you can do, the quest. do you can do whatever the quest is SAR, which is the quest action. Um, or you could explore that area. So it says you can either explore or perform the quest action. So here the tutorial had us do the quest action for the purposes of the tutorial. But I imagine exploring would mean you would take one of the cards up there. Yeah, right? I'm yeah. assuming, so like up here we have a deck of six. Uh, so I'm assuming an explore action would be take that and whatever it says, you follow along. And they'll probably have us do that in a moment here. So since that was the quest only objective, the campaign moves on to the next quest, Cook's Assistant. There is nothing else to do this turn, so we'll move on to the Knight's turn. You want me to read the knight's turn for you? Yeah, go for it. All right, so the knight's first turn. Uh, so it looks like here, too, we're going to go back and forth turn by turn, just glancing at this. Yeah, which I mean, I think uh, that's, that's, makes, the, yeah, that's how I would play. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Galor's <laughs> Guide. <laughs> Gilinor? Gilinor? Gilinor. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, congratulations. You now know how to talk to people. Woo, I did it. Yeah. Good communication <laughs> skills are important, but that's not all exploring the kingdoms. But that's not all. Exploring the kingdoms can be dangerous, exciting, but also rewarding. Mm. Let's try it now. To start off, the knight who is in Falador, I, in Falador. Uh, moves to Port Serum. Okay. Now, <laughs> explore Port Serum, since there is no quest action here. Okay. To explore, take the top card from the Falador expansion exp exploration deck. This one. Yep, and it would obviously associate. So you take from the deck of which. Yeah, there's 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 here. symbols that are on here. So the yep. the back. So the color of the cards aren't exactly the same for Falador on here. So like these are purple and yellow on the cards, but on here it's like a navy blue. Yeah. So before we flip that, mm -hmm. uh, so it says on this card you're gonna see three locations, which are gonna be the three locations associated. So you're in Port Serum. You're gonna read the Port Serum section. Okay. Uh, Port Serum says Clarence the Sailor offers a reward for the return of his missing hat. Can you retrace his footsteps? Um, then there's like a, a mask that says four out of yeah, seven. Say, oh, okay. So that is the skill test. So each thing is going to have a skill test associated to it. To take the skill test, uh, first check which skill is being tested. So that is your thieving, which is the mess. Yes. Uh, you're going to compare uh, the skill level on the character sheet with the test level to determine the number of dice to roll. Oof. If the skill level is lower than the test level, Yikes. roll one die. If it's equal, roll two. If it's higher, roll three. So it's, it's lower. So it says four on here. I have a skill of one, so I roll one die because it's lower, right? Correct. It says equal was two and higher was three? three yes. Okay. Which it makes sense why there's three dice of one color scheme. Yep. Uh, since, da, da 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 so roll the dice, compare their results to the difficulty. Uh, the difficulty is the rightmost number. Seven, okay. Uh, do, 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 if, for this test, if at least one of the dice are greater, the test pass. Uh, you're only rolling one die, though. Yep. And the check effect is resolved. Otherwise, the fail effect. For the purposes of the tutorial, you are going to pass the test, but we're going to make Nick be Nick and roll this <laughs> die. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. Let's go, Knight. He's going to roll a six and need a Steve. seven. Rolls a five. I got a five, which is less than seven, which is not what I but need. really, that happened. Okay. Eight. The Knight is quick. It was some magic. <laughs> Just yeah. Blew it over. Uh... So now the knight gains the green check mark. Let's uh, we might as well move into the board here since they don't really need to see the other stuff. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll gain whatever's on here for the green check marks. It says gain four 
GP. So those are the gold coins, yeah. So I'll grab two that are marked two, put them down in my GP section. Yep. Usually, any time an adventurer takes a skill test, they gain XP in that skill afterwards, no mm. matter if they pass or fail. Nice. Uh, this one doesn't have any fail things. Interesting. What's the tutorial? That's... Oh, no, those are the actual decks. Oh, gotcha. This one doesn't have a fail thing. Yeah. Uh, no matter if they... So when an adventurer gains their third XP in a skill, the skill levels up. So now we know, which makes sense. So I'm going to go to my player board real quick. So do I get one? No, because I didn't tell you to. Like this one says a gain. Oh, no, you do. Okay. It says usually. So I do, yeah, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, if you always you gain fail. an XP, but then you, if you, regardless of you pass or fail, so for attempting it, you gain experience. But then if you pass, you gain whatever's there. If nice. you fail, for example, the example card here has a fail condition, suffer a wound and discard two gold. Oof. Uh, but on your player board here, so I'll go to next right there. He has that one experience. If he gets three in that singular skill, it then goes up, and that's how you get to skill set number two, yeah. uh, which Woo. makes sense for one of our side quests on how we're going to get to cooking level two. Yeah, cool. Okay, now that the night has resolved, return it to the bottom of the expira exploration deck. Okay. I don't so I keep this... want to say expiration deck. <laughs> it's expiring. Uh, after exploring a region, adventurers may either farage... Or, Forage. Yeah, no, I, oh. I, I, I know. We play successors. <laughs> yeah, in successors, it's it's forage. <laughs> it just sounds cooler. Makes it fancy. Uh, so you either forage or skill there, depending on the icon shown. Hmm. Uh, Port Serum shows fruit, a resource icon. The knight can forage and gain one fruit. You are going to do that and add it to your inventory. I'm going to take a fancy wooden fruit here. This is one of the ingredients the cook needs Woo. To, for the feast. Nice. Wait, before you finish your turn, another purse. there's another person in need in Port Serum. Oh. Adventurers can perform bonus actions if they're available. Oh. Accepting a side quest. Yay. Ooh. Uh... You have now accepted the making the round side quest, and you're gonna place it beh beside the knight's character sheet, and we'll see more of this quest later. Uh, as a, as a reminder, making the rounds is a lady carrying a tray of sandwiches asked to be escorted along the coastline as she makes her rounds. Wow. Okay. And so it says I have to be in Port Saren to pick this up. It says to complete this quest, the adventurer must visit each of the regions listed below. Melzar's Maze, the Taverly, Remington, and then Berthorpe. So obviously we're going to go right up the coast like that. Cool. All done? Yep. All righty. This is fun. <laughs> Even though, I like, I know, of... I know it's telling us, like, what we're doing, yeah. but this is going to be really fun, like, when we're just playing and going through yeah. it. Yeah. So for reference, anyone else who's going to be watching this You're on YouTube. You're hilarious. The smallest. Can you switch no, I to made, your board? I made one for each dot. No, that, those are just lines. It's just like you're gonna literally like erase it so, and write down two. So I'm gonna please switch to his board. <laughs> so oh. this board over here, he just has a big old one in the middle. Yeah, because you're gonna change I, it to two. I made a, a little like marker here. You can't even. See. <laughs> which is, so for my defense of, of my decision making process, I prefer oh, to use pen wow. for everything. So to me, I'm making tallies. To okay. be like, okay, I have one tally. Okay. Oh, I gain a second one, I make a second tally, now I have two. That's Mick's amazing. just going to erase and put the number two. Yeah. That's amazing. And this that is, is why so we're all on board. We do things very differently. We do. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, so, you ready? Yeah, turn number two for the skiller. In the skiller's second turn, they should explore by following the same steps the knight did in their turn. This time, taking a Varrock exploration card. After resolving the exploration card, they forage to gain an egg. So you're going to stay where you're at yep. and just do Grab your one thing. Of these. Yep. Okay. So, and we we didn't shuffle these as we took them as they were. However, Nick placed them in the box when he opened the box. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't shuffle through them at all. So we have the rock. We are in the farmland, so we're going to go to the bottom, the third one down here at the bottom. Farmer Groats is having some trouble keeping the local wildlife from his fields. We are going to do a gather. Uh, so we're going to take one of these glistening dice. Uh, my check is two. 
My gather is one, so I only get one die. Uh, six is my thing. So you need to get six or above, right? Yep. And I rolled a nine. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so this says I get one experience. So we already had that. Can, uh, oh, sorry. Yep. Everyone knows. Yep. Just put these. We'll keep them in the bag. There we nice. go. Yeah. Knock them off. Okay, so that's my second gathering experience and now. Then you get an egg. And then I get oh, the egg will be for the farage. Uh, yep. But gain an ingredient of your choice. Ooh. So what do we... I am. So gonna... we need flour and meat. So let's get a flour. No, let's. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm pretty sure the the. Well, I'm gonna get meat right here. Yeah. So this is boop. Yep. The grain exchange is gonna be flour, but okay. So okay. and then I get the egg. Boom. All right. So that completes this card. So this card will now go back to the bottom of this deck. And it says, then they use their bonus action to accept the special delivery side quest. So special delivery. What are the what's the pickup qualifications? Oh yeah. Uh, I was just curious. Oh yeah yeah hold on. Um. So special delivery, as a reminder, <clears throat> to pick up the quest, you can just pick up the quest for this one specifically. Unlike Nick's, where you actually had to accept the quest in a location, yeah. uh, this one you can accept the quest, but in order to advance the quest and complete it, I have to go to Ice Mountain mm. and complete uh, the make a delivery action, uh, which advances the escalation track, and then I get the vault card. So this will go right here next to mine. And that was the turn. Oh, that was nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you specifically chose not to move, which makes sense because you needed flour and we need egg. We have the cherry, so now we just need the meat. But I assume one person has to have all of these and go to that spot, unless we both go to that spot Probably. with the ingredients. And I'm assuming as well, so there is flour here in the grain exchange. I'm assuming that not all of these are going to give me a resource. I just happened to get one that did. Uh, and pass the check. So I'm assuming like it's going to bring me up here anyway because I need to go there in order well, to it, get to Did it say now. resource or ingredient? Oh, it said resource. Did it said resource? We're going to double check because I think these are considered ingredients. Oh, no, gain an ingredient of your choice. Yeah. So I believe I'm calling ingredients resource. So I think, I think that the foods are specifically known as ingredients, ingredients. I would imagine. And then the um, like stuff wood, to like craft are probably resources. Wood and iron and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so the knight's second turn. In the knight's second turn, they move to Rimmington. Yes, I do. They are going to explore. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. No, I'm not going to continue until... Yeah. I'm just making sure. So I mean... It's going to say do skill test. Oh, okay. So this says, because I'm in Rimmington, it says random event. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're also going to... Do the gate of vegetable. We're gonna to get to that in a second. Uh, now you're gonna make me look ahead to see what random event means because I didn't say that yet. I'm assuming it's a random event. Oh, event! Haha. -ha. There's an event deck over here. I forgot about. Okay, so this is cat astrophy. A black <laughs> cat meows aggressively as it beset as it beset, but as it is beset by a pack of wolves. My goodness. Choose one of the following. Protect the cat with your body or do nothing. So if I choose to protect the cat with my body, it says through the wolf's teeth, find purchase, through the wolf's teeth, find purchase in your leg. What? What? Did you so it says, it says through the wolf's teeth, find purchase in oh, your nice. leg. The black okay. cat lives to meow another day. It pushes the cat. So I assume these maybe have to be red by you potentially All right, let's try this as again. like the choices oh oh yeah um so, oh so you choose one of the five okay so you're gonna protect the cat with your no so oh you did this whole horribly wrong uh so a black cat meows aggressively as it's beset by a pack of wolves yeah you have to choose do you want to protect the cat or do you want to do nothing right uh i'll protect the cat okay uh, though the wolf's teeth finds purchase in your leg. You said through, didn't you? Though. I said though? It says though. There's okay. no R there. Though the wolf's teeth finds purchase in your leg, meaning they're chomping your leg, the black cat lives to meow another day. 
It pushes a cat-shaped amulet. Oh, just kidding. Amulet. Uh, towards you. Neither of us can read. <laughs> then scampers off to lick its wounds. Uh, you're going to collect Vault called Card 37, which we're not going to do in this tutorial. Mm. Uh, and then you're also going to collect Vault Card 38 and shuffle it into the event deck. And then you're going to remove this card from the game. So we're going to act like we did that. We'll put it on the bottom, yep. So, yep. No, so nothing happened then for me. For so that. then you are going to uh, gain a vegetable using the Farage. Okay, so gaming some cabbage. And now you have completed your skill check. You have visited Remington. Place the RS token over the corresponding icon on the Making the Round side quest. Nice, okay. Remington is good. All right. Yeah, so it looks before you continue. So obviously we have a huge stack of cards during our uh, unboxing. Yep. I'm assuming all of those vault cards are going to be in that. So as we play the first one, which is Vampire Slayer, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so on Thursday we play Vampire Slayer. When we get these cool event cards, we'll be able to dig in and have all kinds of fun other stuff, which I didn't know was going to happen. That's interesting. Yeah. So be cool, yeah, it looks like cards will just be added to the, the decks, which will be nice. Alrighty. The Skiller moves to Varrock and explores Varrock and explores, sorry. Uh, Varrock is one of the capital regions, which is which are explored slightly differently than provinces. Adventurers don't draw an exploration card in the capital region. That's why I didn't flip it. Instead, the skiller has the option to spend their GP, so their gold, to gain experience in the skills shown ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the capital banner. <laughs> uh, so we went over this earlier. So on the capital banner, on the left side, it has a one gold. On the right side, it has a two. Yep. So I only have one gold to spend. So I can spend one gold and get either uh, thieving, the crafting, or the magic. Yep. And so on here, it says spend one gold to get magic, thieving, or crafting. Or you can spend two gold to get a skill, an XP in range, gathering, or cooking. Does it tell me what it wants me to do? The do skiller it? now spends their GP, discarding it from the inventory, to gain an XP in crafting. Okay. So now Four, I have two in gather, one in crafting. Foraging still works the same in capital regions. After exploring, the skiller forages and gains leather. Ah, so that is what this thing looks like, which well, doesn't look like leather. Well, it's a, it's, it's a plate. It's a hide. Oh, it's a hide. Yeah, it's an animal hide, hence leather. Sure. When an adventurer ends an animal their turn in a capital region, they must advance the escalation track by one. So Boop. move that up by one. Okay. I'm assuming it gets, it's a bad thing to get the escalation track. I think top. I think we fail if it gets to the top. <laughs> so I think that's, Let's do it. <laughs> that's how we can fail. We'll talk more about the escalation track later. The knight's third turn. All right. So the knight's third turn, they are going to move. He, do you know where you're going to move? Where he you is going to move? move to the maze. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm making sure you remembered his quest. Yes, I do. I'm just right in front of me. I know. <laughs> my my <laughs> 10 second time over here. Where, wait, what kind of rounds am I making? <laughs> uh, so move to the maze, explore it. Uh, instead of a resource icon, this has a skill icon. Which means the knight could now skill crafting. So I could I could gain uh, XP there if I when I do that. So first I have to do the explore. Yep. So you're gonna explore the maze. So uh, Melzar's maze does have a skill check. So it looks like I could either use my melee or my ranged. Uh, both are one. So and they both have a difficulty of seven. So it doesn't matter. So this says a silver. Of oh, you don't look at the difficulty for how many dice. No, 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 no. I'm oh, saying gotcha. so that would yeah, yeah. that would affect what I would choose typically. Yeah. Uh, a silver of necromantic magic has escaped. A sliver I cannot read tonight. A, a sliver of necromantic magic it's has escaped. Tonight. It's this afternoon. You know. <laughs> okay. A sliver of necromantic <laughs> magic has escaped. You now face a skeleton. Nice. Cool. So I could use my melee or my range to fight it. The range has a higher um, initial rating of five, so it means it would be more difficult. Potentially, you'd have a higher skill to hit the skeleton with that. Where the melee has two, mine is only one, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to roll this. I have to get seven or above. And 
I got a nine. I actually succeeded. So I gain only a, in the tutorial. He's another <laughs> goal. You better hope I succeed when we're actually playing. We're playing together. <laughs> Okay, then this goes to the bottom. Yeah. What I like about these ex exploration cards is it has each of the three regions on here. So it's not like one card always means one thing. Like it's, it's there's so much randomization and replayability uh, in these specific cards. And I, I, I guarantee that as we do the different campaigns, more cards get added in. What's gonna be really cool is if we go from campaign to campaign, if the previous campaign's cards just stay in the deck. Ooh, that, that is a good question. Okay, so now, so now it wants me to go says, up in the, the skill? No, uh, so it has a skill icon, which is crafting, which means the knight could skill crafting now. This costs resource tokens, such as fruit, which are better saved for later. We will mm -hmm. not skill at this time. Uh, I could use... Uh, says, so right? now you're going to gain one of them. Uh, for it, the said, it told me not to do it, right? It said do not skill at this time. Damn. I could do it. I could spend my cabbage. So I'm assuming the cabbage must be needed for something else. I guess so. Because I said don't do it, so I guess we'll hold on to it. Resource tokens such as... Huh. It just says cost resource tokens. Okay. And it looks like across the board, there's the, all of the skills they are must, listed They somewhere. must all be... So ingredients, um, I'm assuming these are called something else specifically, but they're all resources. Yeah. So, the, oh, these are probably materials, those are ingredients, and then everything's probably a resource. Anyway. All right. All right, actually, that probably says right at the front here. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Yep, material tokens, ingredient tokens. And yeah, they're all, and they're all resources. <laughs> I'm smart. Uh, so that's the bottom of the page, right? Yep. You were at the bottom of the page, yes. Okay. Your fourth turn, the skiller. In the skiller's fourth turn, they move to the grand exchange, explore, and forget. <laughs> Which means I'm going to get another flower. All right, there's another spot after you do your explore. Okay. And four. It's just yeah. so I'm actually. I'll, I'll read it now. It doesn't have any effect what you're okay. doing. It says the Grand Exchange is a special region where adventurers can use a bonus action to exchange their resources. Hey, it's like the marketplace. Yeah, good call. <laughs> the skiller doesn't have much to exchange at the moment, so you'll skip that for now. Cool. It's like we've played the type, these types of games before. I know, right? <laughs> um. So here I'm in the Grand Exchange. Uh, there are many items languishing here, unsold for years. Still. Leaving, yeah, we are. Nice. Uh, my theme being is a one, it needs oh, a four. Oh, you used this, right? I did. Uh, so we got our roll. And Oof. we're going to get a one. Uh, so we're going to fail. Does it say I don't pass? Nope. Nope, okay, so I but there's, there's, I mean, there's, you're not, you're not going to take a wound. You don't take wounds right now. But. Yeah, so I get an experience automatically because we tried it. Yep. We'll have the trays out normally. <laughs> Did you give yourself one when you did the check there? There was no check. Remember, it was a random event. No, it just wasn't. That was two turns ago. Oh, right. what was the... Did oh, it was, for, it was for melee. I forgot. You're right. Good job. Yeah, I'm like, what? Uh, Thank you, sir. Like, that was two turns ago. <laughs> you forgot her. I did. Um, Yay, melee! So thieving, cool. Stabby, stabby, uh, So stabby. if I did uh, succeed in this... Oh, which this is not part of this tutorial anyway. Uh, so if you succeeded in this specific one, I would actually get a card from that item deck. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. So we are now moving on to the knight's fourth turn. It looks like we each have seven turns, and then we I wish be sometimes I wish that people would sometimes, you know, they stop calling me knight and they start calling me day. Okay, noon. Oh. <laughs> it's like the redheaded stepchild of time. <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the knight's fourth turn. They move. To Taverly. They're going to explore. All right. There you go. Yeah. Taverly. Help the local... Oh, wow. My mouth just broke. <laughs> Help the local herb lore store. That's what it says. It says herb lore store. That's why it screwed me herb up. Lore. Help the local herb lore store owner, Jatix restock his supply so i am attempting a gather the initial rating is four I, of course mine's one so i roll one i need to get a seven i got a nine again so i'm going to get three i have all the gold so i'm just going to flip this guy over to two take another two and yes now i get an experience <laughs> for my gather 
So, uh, you have now explored. You were going to forage uh, in a taverly. Uh, this time, the knight will skill to gain D. What in the world? What's it say? This time, I'll what? They broke this. What's it say? They're, ri they're writing this as if you're in the White Wolf Mountain. Oh, are they? Yeah. Because it says you're going to gain the defense skill, which is actually up and there. And it's time to go to Taverly? Oh, yeah, you can't go there. You that's can't. that's so funny. Um, This time that I will get uh, to do blah, 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 da, 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 da. Cool. Uh, so, so normally you could spend, so it's telling me so to spend my cabbage. It was, it was saying if you were up here in the upper left-hand corner they to didn't, spend your cabbage. They didn't do a check of their rule book. <laughs> and they wrote a full like thing about the fact that you have a defense thing to do here. That's great. Uh, so you're not going to gain anything. Uh, well, I'll, I'll just gain the meat. You're going to gain the meat, yes. Uh, and then add the test of uh, the token. Okay. I want to see if on the main board it's it, different. If it's different, because that would be hilarious. That they screwed up the mat and the. Thing. No, it's the same on the main board. Huh. So it's just the rule book they they tweaked a bit. <laughs> Well, the funny thing is about all of this is we don't need the defense skill. We need the meat for yeah. the quest. Yeah. So they like they made the quest. Yeah. And then made that and then missed both. Yep. That's fine. <laughs> but all right, moving on. Okay. In the Skiller's fifth turn, they move to Edgeville, explore and forage as they did in Varak. And it says remember to advance the escalation track by one for ending a turn in a capital. So you'll do your whole thing. Okay, so we are gonna go. So oh no, we're not going to that. Yeah, exploring is I forgot. So you can spend gold to boost. Oh, you don't have don't any. Have any so you gold. can't. Uh, so and then, then you can forage. And I get a coffin, which is actually a. Iron. It's not a coffin. It's iron. <laughs> it's an ore. It's gray chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> is that groklet? Groklet. And then we advance uh, and then we go up this track. one. That's it. All right. Oh, because you're trying to get to the mountains. That's why you just keep moving. Yeah. Got it. So we're going to be like right there. Uh, the knight's fifth turn. In the knight's fifth turn, you're going to move to Burthorpe. Then you are going to explore. So would you like to sell? I'm going to use a bunch. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to spend two of my... When Earlier when I said explore, we can just spend any amount of gold to raise our stats, right? Yeah. As so as I as could as do as a bunch of them. Yeah, you just have a so, gold. So two... Uh, to get my melee up to two. Uh, what do we need for this? We need cooking. So I'm going to spend... Wait, hold on, hold on. You, you, you get one XP. You don't move the stat up one. No, I, I did it twice. So I got two XPs. Oh, so yes. it Wait, cost how many one. XPs did you have? I had one. Oh, you had one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you need three to move up one. Okay. Exactly. So cooking is not... One of those. Damn. Okay. Well, I have gather. I have one for gathering, so I'll use. I uh, need to do two. I'll do four, to get my gathering up, to two. Uh, so the gathering for this one, you have to spend two gold to do. And then I have one on thieving. Thieving is not on there, so I will save my last. Yeah, it is. Do that. No. Is that, oh, sorry. Wow, that looked like the ore to me. That was tripping me out. So there. So then I need to spend two to get that one up. So cool. I'll spend all my gold. Okay. Uh, so you also forage. So you get a rock. I or get stone. Stone. What is that? It is. It is stone. Okay. Okay. So you have now completed your side quest. Now the side quest has been completed, the knight gains the rewards list on top of the card. Okay, ST plus one plus two. So what is... S so plus one is going to be plus one defense XP. Yep. Plus two is two gold. Cool. In addition, the knight follows the instructions on the card and collects vault card number two, then resolves the text on it. I wonder, I wonder the what the ST stands for. I think those are just like extra, like it could be four resources. Maybe just put an SD. Uh, the recipe book card will be among the cards placed in the game. Okay, yeah. So you have to read the card. Lunch is served. Sandwich lady. So there's a little picture of a sandwich lady on here. She's saying, I hope everyone's hungry. 
The sandwich lady, as you have been referring to her, ignorant of her real name, <laughs> is swarmed by the Burthorpe Imperial Guard. After picking her tray clean, they actually thank you. And some of their unused... After picking her tray clean, they actually thank you with some of their unused equipment. <laughs> Reading is great. Uh, so I get to collect a recipe book card, then search the item deck and choose one of the starting equipment cards to begin the game with. Then shuffle the item deck afterwards. And then this says that the recipe book card will be among the cards placed back in the game box. Next, lunch is served and the side quest will also be placed back in the game box. Move the escalation track up one because you finished your turn in the capital. Uh, so I'm assuming because of this tutorial, we're not going to gain equipment cards. Uh, we're going to start with... It, 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 would, it would tell us, yeah. So uh, I, I imagine that this is going to be probably one of the first quests that you end up potentially doing. Yeah, I'm assuming these two quests will probably be back on the board. Yeah, because that's what it says. It goes back in the game box. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that was it? The, so I'll put it like the, the what? Those two cards. So oh, okay. Keep them cool. Yeah. And did you advance the... You did. I did. Okay. So, for the Skiller's sixth turn. In the Skiller's sixth turn, they move to Ice Mountain and perform the quest action on their special delivery side quest card. So that is the card that I've had sitting over here. Uh, this says, you must perform the following action, Ice Mountain. Make a delivery. So I advance the escalation track up one. Oh no. I collect vault <laughs> card T3. Oh, no, I'm going to need that here in a second. Uh, I'll just do this too, first. Uh, so on the special delivery card, when you complete the card, you get plus two pot. So that's cooking. So I get two experience for cooking. And I get one gold. Just the one? Yep, just the one gold. Okay. So now, on my T3, <laughs> good job. This is hilarious. A familiar face pops up to reward you for a job well done. What? Can I see your card? What card? The one you just read? The other one? The special delivery? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, what? You're, you're gone. Did I read something wrong? That's, no, no, you're fine. Oh. It, uh, it's, it says here, remember to take two GP and one defense experience as well as collecting the vault card. It's Because it was saying as if it was this up here. Wait, is that on yours? Was that on your? No, yeah, that was yours. That's what it says right here for your turn. 2GP. Oh, I'm saying that was on your card, so they just copied and pasted. That's so funny. Okay, anyway, continue. <laughs> We're going to thrash these people. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, familiar face pops up, rewards you for a job well done. <laughs> You'll make a fantastic adventure, I can tell, says the guide. Collect a recipe book card, then search the item deck, choose one of the starting equipment cards, shuffle the item deck afterwards. So, same thing as the card Nick just completed. Uh, when we complete that in the actual game, we will get equipment. Uh, I briefly looked ahead, uh, or not ahead, but just like in the rules. Uh, so there's all types of equipment. So like better bow and arrow, better melee tools, cool. uh, things that you can gain. I assume your skill has to be a certain level to hold them potentially. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do I? Oh, I don't get a forage. Interesting. I mean, I don't know why you couldn't. Because you complete a quest action and then you forage, don't you? No, no, no. The quest action is separate. So yeah, no. But you you would do the explore or quest action and then you yeah, can forge. So explore. Oh no, you can you may you may forge a skill if you explore, based on how that exploring a province. Then there's forage, so you can't forge unless you explore. Oh, oh, that makes sense. I and guess because you're exploring the region. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, so the knight. In case you didn't hear that, that makes sense. The knight's sixth turn. In the night six turn, they stay in Burthorpe, explore and forge once again. But Nick was so greedy the first time he spent everything. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, hold on. So this actually is different too. So you may gain one XP in each different skill shown by discarding the corresponding. So uh, what a, why not? Oh, sure. Okay. Why not? Make sure to do this properly. So you can only, so you can do multiple cells of gold to resource, or gold to skill, but you can only do one per each one. You can't just do the same one multiple times. Which, I mean, it, it keeps the pace. But now you can. So, which makes sense. 
But now this turn you can, so you might as well just... Oh, is it telling me to do it again? Yeah, it's going to do it again, so oh. just, that's why I was saying Damn don't it. worry about it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I did not know. Sorry. Yeah, so, so, was uh, so explore and forage once again, so you get one more stone. Okay, so two... This is why I have a pencil. Two, this is why I read the directions two, first. No, just well, well, why did back and forth? Uh, uh, so I can explore again, so did that, blah, 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 and then... Another stone. Gain a stone. Uh, then they will take their resource tokens, so all of them, and die. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, place them in the clan bank. This allows the skiller, uh, which is a me... To retrieve them when they visit any capital region. Mm. Okay, so you must, I assume you have to be at a capital region to drop those into a clan bank? Yes, and I'm assuming I need to obviously pick up these two. So okay, I need to somehow gain, get to you to be able to pick that up. Oh, which I think I'm going to go back to Edgeville, aren't I? I don't know, find out. In the skiller's seventh turn, it's, oh, wait, there's, we have, it doesn't tell us to. What? But don't we have to move that? Up by one, because I'm ending my turn in a capital region. I don't know, but you're already... Is it any time you... Let's see, what does it say here? For ending turn in capital region. All right. Up one. We're one spot away from failure. I think for the tutorial, they miscalculated that, because you're going to go back there and end your turn. That's going to go up again. Oh, no, no, no. I think the tutorial ends when I end my turn. I think yeah. I finished all the quad. Okay. In the, oh, because this is the last turn of the tutorial, actually, it looks like. Yeah. All right. In the skiller's seventh turn, instead of moving normally, they spend one GP. Oh, this is the okay. Got it. They spend one GP to teleport their adventure directly to Lumbridge. So you spend your one gold to go directly to Lumbridge. So this is broken. Because you're not going to have a. Because I didn't forage here. So they must have just missed that. I must be able to forage. Yeah, so you should have. So I should have explored first. Because the side quest is just the bonus action. Well, let's see what they say here. Oh no, I can't. I literally don't have the experience. To so let's, so it says you would spend a TP to gel, teleport to Lumbridge. An adventurer may teleport like this to any capital region by spending one GP instead of moving normally. Okay, so you don't have to. So any time you want to go to any capital spot, you can spend one GP to just boop there. After teleporting, they can perform either an explore or quest action as normal to complete the tutorial island. The skiller. Retrieves the resources from the clan bank, performs a cook assistant side quest action on the campaign board, completing the campaign. Yes. Okay. But so, so you would need, yes. yeah. So we're going to go back mentally one turn. Uh, the way it says here, you move, you ex action or explore, and then bonus action. Bonus action was me completing that side quest. Yes, I don't think there's a one after the other. This, so no, I think you, but you have to explore it. So what should have happened, and it's not in the tutorial, I should have explored here in this island. And by doing that, I could forage, give up a resource. So I'm going to give up the hide. And I gain one experience in cooking, which gives me cooking level two. This goes over there. Now I have entered this turn. We're going to act like I explored. Uh, it's not going to matter for this game. Boop. Now I go to Lumbridge. So now I spend one gold in order to do that. Yeah, because completing the side quest isn't... It's just a bonus action. An action, unless it tells you to take an action. Yeah. Because like mine, I did everything, and I said, now that you're there and you've done all that, you completed your side quest. Yes. Yeah. So, there's things missing from this tutorial. That's why, uh, hey, I'm glad we're going through it and learning. I don't know if it helped. Might have been able to learn better by ourselves. No, I was kidding. Uh, uh, so, Lumbridge, I spent the gold. So now, I can go into the clam bank. I can take these. And now, I have the necessary resources right here. Of one flower, one egg, one uh, cherry, which is fruit, and then one meat. And we are now going to take those. Boom, 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 boom. We are going to perform a quest cooking, action of assist the cook. And we are going to complete assist the cook. Boom. So, so I'm assuming you have to spend these, right? Yeah. Can perform them by oh, discarding. So yep. these four we get discarded over there. So it says you are now to receive the... Tokens yet perform the cook assistant quest action on the campaign board and completing the campaign. Since the skiller ends their turn in the capital, they must advance the escalation track by one, putting the token at the top. When this happens, it resets back to the bottom and the adventurer draws an escalation card. Now ah, take that's the with this. Okay. Got it. So now take the tutorial escalation card and read it aloud. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, it means you're just like... Okay, so that, that doesn't lose. It just escalates the game. Or it could be a bad thing. We're about to find out. Ba -doom. 
the feast approaches. The feast has started. If the adventurers have not already completed, ah, oh, no, no, it is that. Uh, if the adventurers have not already completed the cook's assistant campaign quest, you have failed the tutorial. Nice, so we did. We, we completed it, so we're good. Yes. All right, phew. Looks like you managed to help the cook just in time. Congratulations, you've completed the RuneScape Kingdom's tutorial campaign. Players should now read the remainder of the rulebook before moving on to the first campaign. So let's let's just like skim through, I guess, and we can go over the topics that weren't really covered. Did you want to do sure, something? Sure, I'll do this. Uh... Go for it. So we'll make sure now. So we went through the tutorial. There was definitely some stuff that seemed like it was slightly off and didn't quite match up. Yeah, We're going to so go through... Just the, it looks like there's only the a highlights. couple of pages here real yeah, quick. So we'll cover things, uh, just like a quick reminder of certain spots, and then we'll read aloud the, the, the spots that are completely new for you. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we'll go over the highlights, like Nick, Nick said. Uh, I'm not going to go over anything about the bosses or mini-bosses. We will save that for Thursday when we actually dive into uh, Demon Slayer. We can, we can uh, tell what they do. It's not going to tell us who they are or how they function. Oh, that's true. Uh, let's go to the highlights. Uh, so you can add adventurers to the game. So this is not just a two-person game. So you add them in. You give them their own uh, quest sheet here that we just had with all of the name and information on it. Um, each player actually gets to select two of their skills to begin the game at level two. The mm. rest begin at level one. Uh, and it says, yeah, literally they grab a sheet and they uh, get to collect some resources and some other stuff. So I guess you can add friends in at any point in time. It's cool. Uh, setting up the full game, uh, this we will save, uh, but all it really does is add the other decks off to the side here. Uh, we will also on the left-hand side where Tutorial Island currently is, that would be the board for that specific campaign. So Vampire Slayer, for example. What was the the this. weapon card that was on the side here? This? So they get to choose a weapon and That's the item? equipment. Uh, so, uh, now to collect a recipe and, uh, search the equipment deck, choose one of the starting equipment cards. So these are the equipment cards, the recipe book was, so that's what we would have done, but we will do it. So what? Okay. So that's once you would finish that side quest. It's saying. No, this is to add a new adventure to the game. Right now. They would just, like, oh, they just, they, to just add oh, so they just, they just get a recipe yeah. book and they get to take a piece of equipment. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was wondering. So I'm assuming we're going to get that here automatically during to start the normal the startup. Yeah. So it looks like each person, whenever they come in, gets a recipe book and gets a piece of equipment. Yeah. And I, is it, I wonder if it's random or if like you get to choose. Uh, collect, search the equipment deck, choose one of the starting. So it's probably, oh, it's probably says starting, starting equipment. Okay, yeah. cool. 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 Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so throughout the rules, uh, it goes through a nice detailed section here of your player board. Uh, we already went through all that in the tutorial. Mm -hmm. uh, it talks about how you experience and level up, which we know you need three experience tokens to level up your skill by one. Uh, skills can be leveled to a maximum of 99. Nice. Imagine. I don't, yeah. If we get to a 99 skill. I imagine, I imagine that that Which is, is consistent a little, with RuneScape. That's why. That's what I'm saying. It's a little tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you can get up to 99 if you just continue playing over and over and over again with the yeah. same character. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, have capes. So we saw that deck off to the side. Yep. Uh, the character sheet details a number of cape objectives, as we went over here. Yep. Uh, when, you achieve, when you achieve one of these, collect the cape cards, place them in your inventory, the rest in the box. Uh, they... They may then replace their miniature with the corresponding leveled up miniature. Oh, that's oh, that's why there's so many. That's fun. Yeah, so it looks like we'll have some upgrades and things that will happen throughout the game. Uh, the vault. Uh, the vault is home to a bunch of different cards. As we saw through that event card, uh, you might have to go into the vault deck and pull out a specific one, read it, go through whatever the objective or the skill check is. Uh, so we will obviously see a lot of those vault cards when we play the campaign. Uh, this goes over the campaign deck, which we will, uh, this one I will save uh, for next time. This literally will go over every piece of the board for the Vampire Slayer and all mm. everything else. So we start the campaign on Thursday. We'll put the Vampire Slayer up and tell you what all the pieces are. Uh, it goes over taking your turn, which we all saw in this, uh, and how to explore, etc. How to perform a quest action, uh, equipment. So an adventurer can gain ver a variety of benefits from equipment cards. So most commonly, adding the equipment die to the skill check. So this, if you want to grab the other dice out of there. This one? Oh, all of them. 
So we have two sets of dice. Uh, and one just came with the expansion. So you have three dice, which are your own. So for example, what we'll do, Nick will get these four dice. I will get these four. These three are your personal dice uh, for counting based on your skill level. The odd color dice, you want to pay attention. The odd color dice is based on your equipment. So you may add the odd color mm. dice uh, to certain skill checks. So for example, it might be just a melee skill check or whatnot that your equipment gives you that boost. So it's like upgrading the equipment you already have. That's cool. Uh, schematics. Uh, so adventurers can use their crafting skill to create uh, equipment with suitable schematics. Uh, so oh, we will fine. see that there, and it'll tell you what resources you need and what skill level you need in order to craft certain things. Uh, I'm just looking here. So performing a quest action. So make sure. So because we had some confusion here. Quest action to perform instead of exploring. Adventurers can't forage or skill in performing one. So this quest action... So it'll say whatever the action example is. Bonus actions. Adventures can attempt one of the bonus actions during their turn. Bonus actions are individually detailed on several different game components. Most common are crafting with schematic, upgrading equipment, cooking a recipe, using a grant exchange, or accepting a side quest. You just follow the instructions to perform it. Okay. So I guess I guess just completing a side quest, you just do it automatically. So it's not even a bonus That's, action. That's yeah. over there. Uh, yep. Yeah, so you can upgrade your equipment. You can do the recipes in the recipe book and it'll tell you on that card exactly how that works. Uh, the grand exchange, uh, as we saw, which is right here on the game board, uh, the grand exchange, uh, may perf adventurers can perform a bonus action to use it. An adventurer actually has four things we can do. This is brand new. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you can discard a resource to gain another. So you're nice. just trading a resource, discard a resource to gain gold, discard two gold to gain a resource. Or discard five gold to drop draw the top four cards of the equipment deck and add one into your nice. Card. So that's good to know. Uh, we'll okay. probably just jot that down somewhere. I wish it might be on the back. Little... It might be on the back of the book. Yeah, it is. Yep. So the back of the book is going to be our player guide. We'll have out. Yep. Uh, side quests. So you can complete side quests. Uh, it tells you on the side quests all of the information. Uh, each campaign, well, new side quests will be exposed. Uh, the number of incomplete side quests an adventurer can have is dictated by the number of adventurers. So we're playing with two of us. We can have two side quests. Each. Uh, each adventurer can have two side quests that are incomplete. So once you complete a side quest, it goes off to the completed side. You can gain another one, hmm. which makes sense. that so you can't just like stack six of them. Um, obviously, on the card, it'll tell you everything that you need to do. Uh, once you complete, you gain the benefits on the side quest. Uh, when an adventure completes a side quest, they add a tally to the side quest completed part of your board uh, to keep track. Adventures gain the benefits detail when they complete the corresponding number. So that makes sense to what you were asking before. Nice. So once you complete three side quests, you gain the first thing, five, eight, and 12. Cool. Uh, escalation in danger. Each campaign has the escalation deck that we just saw. Um, there will always be a token on the escalation track. When you reach the top, it triggers. Uh, you would just read the card, and it'll tell you what happens. It looks like the peril or order number, so those are probably organized. So on the cards in the upper right-hand corner, there looks like there's a number that's called the peril level, which will affect the overall ending of the game. At the end of each campaign, players will be prompted to take note of the peril level. The escalation cards in each track are ordered accordingly to those numbers. So I'm assuming in the campaign section of this book, it'll tell you how to stack it. Yep. Uh, then Peril, there are multiple possible endings to the Dragon Slayer campaign uh, mm -hmm. at the end of the game. Uh, depending on the Peril level that you have, you don't want to raise too high. Uh, dangerous cool. regions. Several effects can cause danger, which there's danger tokens, which uh, are those skull yeah. and bones. Uh, and they have different effects campaign to campaign. Uh, obviously, you're probably not going to want to gain danger tokens. Yep. Uh, you have an equipment deck. You have consumables as well stacked up that you'll gain. Uh, wounds and Dying. Uh, there's a variety of ways you can take a wound. You can suffer wounds uh, when you. So if an adventure has three or more wounds, they die. Okay. Or uh, when you die, you go through all eight of these steps uh, in order to reincarnate. And I assume those are probably in the back as well. Yep. Nice. Uh, then we have the bosses. So you have mini bosses, which is you want to grab that little board right up there. 
So you have mini bosses, uh, which is this board here. Uh, so for this, you're going to set up a fight. So there's no need to read this section until you encounter a mini boss. We'll follow the directions for that. Yeah. Uh, but pretty much you're going to have a mini boss there. And then same thing for the bo the big bosses. Uh, so you'll just follow this whole section for all of that, uh, which the big boss has a lot of details. And then we go into the campaign, which will walk through yep. what we have to do for each of the four campaigns. So it looks like we are starting with Vampire Slayer. Yep. And it'll go from there. I'm assuming Dragon Slayer is going to be the final piece. I would assume. So uh, and then color, we have Demon and, like and uh, the, fi the fire fighter. thing. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I'm excited to dive in. That was a lot of fun. Um, and obviously it told us like what to do in each turn, but I like the whole choosing where to go, being able to like explore and how random those are. Um, it's very consistent to RuneScape too, where you're traveling, mm -hmm. you can do different actions at different locations. When you're in the major city, obviously you have bigger benefits like shopping and trading and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, I just erased all my skills off here. I'm just going to continue using this when we jump back in. Now I just have the bald name. I guess... Good to go. I mean, why and not? We'll do the same. We didn't really do much on there, so might as well. All right. Well, this is Bald and Board Games. I'm Bald. I'm Bored. We'll see you at the table.